how to transfer from MetaMax to Phantom Wallet. Hello guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can trade your coins from MetaMask and send it right into your Phantom Wallet. So there's something that you guys need to understand. And the thing is that MetaMask runs with a different networks, but MetaMask does not run with the Solana network because it's not available at the moment. So if you have your tokens in here and you want to send that directly into a phantom wallet or into a solana wallet is going to be almost impossible to make this transaction so what i did is there's one way that i can do that and one of those is to change the token that i want to uh, send into another wallet and receive that into solana using a exchange so in this case i'm going to use binance so the first thing i want to do is to see what kind of token can we send into phantom wallet so so as i just told you phantom wallet runs with the solana network so if i go into metamask and want to send my money my cryptos into an exchange in this case i'm going to use binance you can use KuCoin, you can use uh coinbase whatever exchange we want to so let's go into the fiat and spot all right so what i want to do is to select the token that i want to receive I'm going to go and select the option that says deposit. So once I am in this place, I'm going to select the, the coin. In this case, it's going to be the VMV. And then let's go and select the network. I'm going to choose a uh, smart chain. But if you have another network, you can select the one. Just remember, it has to be the same network that you have to use. So you're going to be using in your MetaMask. So what I want to do is to copy this address and paste it right into MetaMask. So I'm going to select this option i'm going to select my vmv and i'm going to go into send i'm going to paste the address and i'm going to put the amount that i want to send into my binance account now do you rem just remember you have to put the enough balance to pay for the gas fee and the gas limit otherwise you're going to be taking a lot a lot to be sending your token so after that you go into send and if you go into your activity you're going to see your transactions that are in here so now the next thing you want to do is after you receive your money you're going to go into wallet fiat and spot and after you receive your money you want to convert your money before sending that into uh, phantom wallet because phantom does not allow cvmv right now so i'm going to go and select the option that says convert so once i am in here i want to select my vmv and let's see if i can trade this for solana so after that i want to book the max maximum amount I'm going to see the preview conversion so this is what i'm going to be receiving so what i want to do is to select the option that says confirm in this case it's refresh because i need a little bit more vmb but you guys go ahead and select the option that says continue to make the transaction and lastly if you go again into your fiat and spot you're going to see that your solana has been now um into your account so what you want to do is to select the option that says withdraw so i'm going to go and select my option my, my coin that says solana and I'm going to go into Phantom Wallet so I can copy my wallet so I can receive this token. I'm going to go and select the option that says uh, copy. I'm going to paste the address right in here. Sometimes Solana says that the withdrawal is suspended because they're experiencing a lot of withdrawal volumes. So this happens a lot. You don't have to be worried about that. You can come back within the next one, two hours or maybe tomorrow to see if the Solana networks works correctly. So you don't have to be worried about that. You can put even a reminder so you can be uh, notified when it's going to be working now properly. So lastly, what you guys want to see, what you might want to see is the amount that you're going to be sending either you can choose your spot wallet or your funding wallet and the last thing you want to do is to select the option that says withdraw now after that you need to confirm that in your phone in your email or your google authenticator it depends on the two factor you have that uh available and after that you're going to see that the recent withdrawal was going to be appearing in here so the last thing you want to do is to go back into your phantom wallet and you want to make sure that your tokens are now available in here if you don't see the solana token you go into manage token list look for the solana token and enable it so you can close it and you can see it right in here into your phantom wallet so that's the way that we can do that really really easy actually it's more easier than it looks so let me know if you have any comments 
down below don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about the phantom wallet or the binance or pancake swap thank you for watching the video and i will see you guys in the next one